Okay, we are ready to roll. Ladies, happy new year, everybody. It is 2021, and I don't know, right, nod your head if you are fired up to welcome a new year, a new season. Um, I know that we are all, we were all excited to kick 2020 to the curb, and um, so excited for what 2021 has in store. And um, I'm excited to gather everybody tonight and um, just share a little bit about my trip in Seattle. I've actually um, collaborated with two of our leaders to share their experience as well. Um, I think it's really important for you guys to hear what an amazing time we had and um, it just really kind of where we're headed as a company and just the impact that um, being able to have intimate time with our CEO, Laura Hunter, um, you know, how that was for all three of us. Um, so tonight, we are just going to be sharing about that. Um, and I will um, ask for updates. I did not catch any updates today. Um, today was the first time that I went over to my sister's house in a month um, after them having gone through COVID. And so um, I had to go over there and take our daughter Tata to go tend to her horse and um, really congratulate my sister who just announced that they are having expecting a new baby, a little boy is um, coming. And so, um, she, you know, I hadn't talked to her or seen her in person in a month's time. So I haven't seen her since last year. <laughs> Does anybody else say cheesy, corny um, New Year's jokes? Because I'm like, I haven't seen you since last year. And I, I'm like, I laugh at myself all the time. Or it's been a year since I've seen you. I mean, it's been like, I just cracked myself up, just so you know. Um, but um, I want to say thank you guys for hopping on. I'll ask for any updates if any of you guys were able to catch that. Otherwise, I will get the updates and we will post them in um, the team page. I think I saw Heather on here too. Um, I don't see your face yet. I know I saw your name, I thought. Um, so I'm ex I know that, oh, there you are, Heather. I know she's excited to, to be on because she hasn't been able to make a Monday night in a hot minute. So um, I, I feel like home. I feel like my heart is so happy seeing all of your beautiful faces. Um, but we're going to kick it off. So you guys um, saw last Wednesday, um, the surprise that I had, and I didn't want to spoil the surprise, but I knew that um, I was heading out to Seattle and had an opportunity to just really spend a few days with Laura, which was so incredible. Um, and Tatum was asked to um, partner with her daughter, Tori, in her New Year's Eve live edition. They got to be mermaids for the new relaunch of the mermaid kit. So that was super special. They got to meet for the very first time. And, um, and I got to, Jason and I got to spend time. We haven't spent time with them since Cancun um, for our incentive trip, but it was the first time that Jason and I were able to spend time um, with them just in a very intimate setting. So I'm gonna share um, my experience at the end, but I was so excited. Um, you guys know that I am a gatherer and I love, um, I would much rather spend time in person, although I love meetings like this. Um, you know, the heartbeat of which mine bump, pumps out of my chest is when I get to have um, personal time with our team members, our affiliates, and I just, um, it, it always makes such a huge impact. Well, um, leading influencer, Katie Anderson actually lives in Seattle, of which we were able to connect, and I invited her to come up and spend time with us. Um, I certainly did not want to be that close to her without hugging her neck, as well as um, senior influencer, Suhanna Jens, is in Washington, but not in Seattle. So um, it's funny, I'll kind of segue my introduction of how that whole thing um, transpired. And, and that was an unexpected surprise as well. So I'm gonna kick it over to um, Katie Anderson. And I asked these ladies to hop on tonight just to share their real life experience. You know, sometimes um, we feel like 
some, even like whenever we see top leaders, right, they're so far removed that like, are they even real people? Um, and I know that we can oftentimes even feel like that, you know, with, with cross line leaders. And then um, also with the CEO of a company, you know, Laura Hunter feels like a movie star, right? And I know that we all just honor her and love her and respect her so much. But when we get an opportunity to have a, um, just some spin some one-on-one -on -one pretty much time and, and get to know them. I know it was such, such a joy. And, and um, this is the second time that I had um, that I was able to meet Katie in person. We met for the first time in Cancun on the incentive trip. So I was super grateful um, that I got to hug Katie's neck again because that is my favorite thing to do is spending personal time um, and, and real life connections um, with you guys. So Katie, I'm gonna kick it over to you, beautiful, for you to share um, just what the experience was like because I know that we had such an amazing time. Yeah, absolutely. So can you hear me? I can. Okay, perfect. So like everybody else, I had no idea that Tori was in Seattle. So when she was surprising us, I had kind of just blurted out, I want to see you. <laughs> and so she said she would connect with me. And so after that live, we were planning on getting together. And so we picked a day and um, we just said we would connect. And I think it, we were going to get together on um, New Year's Day. So um, here I am thinking this is just Tori and I getting together. And so I'm researching different places we can go because everything here in Washington, for the most part, is shut down. Um, you know, some things are still open, but, you know, I, I'm wanting to find the perfect place <laughs> for us to go and hang out. So um, I think it was on New Year's morning, I had reached out to her and said, you know, do you still want to get together? And she said, yes, we are going to be going wine tasting today. And I'm thinking, we? <laughs> and she meant Laura and Bob and um, her husband, Jason, and she, they were inviting me along and I could not believe it. I literally think that my heart jumped out of my chest in excitement um, because I just couldn't believe that I was going to be able to spend some one-on-one -on -one time, um, not only with Tori, because that's obviously really exciting, but Laura too, that just was totally, totally unexpected. And so we arranged for a um, time to meet for lunch and we were going to go to a winery. And when I got there, Laura was so welcoming. I mean, it was just open arms and, you know, I hugged everybody, Tori and Laura and Jason and Bob. And um, it just was really, you know, exciting to see everybody. And I was a little a little nervous just because I had never really spent one-on-one -on -one time with her before, just not knowing what to expect. But the conversation was just rolling and it was just so natural and again, so welcoming um, for me, you know, even being there. And I had briefly met Laura in Cancun, um, you know, so I just, I didn't really have a whole lot to necessarily connect with her on, at least in the beginning. But again, it was just like this natural conversation. Um, and then once we had our lunch, we went to the winery and the conversation just continued. And, you know, she just was very open about, you know, just different things with the company kind of explaining things, you know, so there was some conversation, but honestly, we didn't really talk business a lot. I, do you, did you really feel like we had a whole lot of conversation that way? I mean, it was kind of here and there, but um, I think, you know, she just was normal. <laughs> I mean, she is just so, so down to earth. Um, and then after we had our, you know, we spent some time at the winery, did our, did some wine tasting. Um, well, actually, let me go back. So when we were leaving lunch, I had drove separately and Bob and Laura and Jason and Tori all came together and they were going to get in Bob's car and I was going to follow them. And all of a sudden, Tori and Laura come around and Laura's wanting to get into my car. <laughs> and I was totally taken aback by that. It was just kind of, again, it's like this movie star, you know, getting in your car. Um, and I didn't have room in my car because I have car seats in there, but Tori got in and we ended up going to the winery. And then after the winery, Laura got in my car and we got to spend a little bit of time one-on-one -on -one as we drove back to their house. And so um, we ended up um, 
going back to their house and having dinner, having a um, New Year's dinner with our black, black eyed peas, which that was the very first time I had ever had that. And actually, it was really good, Tori. <laughs> it's really good. So, um, and then from there, we just, again, the conversation just continued and it was just very, I don't know, it just kind of flowed and it just, I actually sent Laura an email thanking her for, um, letting me, um, you know, hang out with them and be a part of it. And, you know, my comment to her was, I just can't thank you enough, you know, for the letting me, um, be with you guys and you and Bob were so welcoming and so down to earth. And I think that was, um, the biggest thing I, I felt like I was literally hanging out with old friends. Um, you know, I never once, except for when I very first got there, I think that was just my nerves, but I never was intimidated, um, by being, being there with all of them. So it was a really, really fun opportunity. It was. So let me ask you, have, having spent time with them and just kind of knowing the vision of where the company is headed, because we talked just a little bit about that and how excited she is for what's to come, you know, did it, um, did it change anything for you internally? I, I actually, I can, I can answer that because you sent me a message this morning. So, <laughs> so kind of share a little bit about that. And, you know, if you want to do a cliff note version of your story, I'm, I'm so honored to have you um, be willing to share. And um, I know that you haven't shared your story on Tribe Talk. So I would love mm -hmm. if you want to just share how you were introduced to Tori Bell and just what the journey's been like um, so far. Yeah, absolutely. So this month is actually my anniversary month. I signed up in January of last year. So um, I have been with Tori Bell for one whole year now, and it has been absolutely amazing. Um, I'm, I'm not a, a talker, but sometimes I tend to just ramble. So I'm going to really try hard to keep this a cliff note version. Um, but my story actually started about five years ago. And my story is that my dad was diagnosed with esophageal cancer. And at the same time, I was pregnant with my daughter and um, had to go back to work after having her. And I work as a patient navigator in a cancer care center. So I work really closely with newly diagnosed um, cancer patients. So I have a pretty heavy job um, emotionally and um, anything I do really, I go 110%. Like I just put everything into it. So any patients that I work with, any people that I work with, they're like my family. I want to take care of them like they're my own. Um, but with my dad being diagnosed with cancer and eventually passing away, there were lots of things that were on his bucket list that he did not get to do. And that really was a slap in the face to me because I had a new daughter and I wanted to spend all that time with her and the thought of going back to work just was, it was really, really difficult. And we just weren't in a financial situation where that was even an option. And so I joined um, a direct sale company because I saw a vision and an opportunity. And I did that for a while and I started losing steam. Um, you know, I was fairly successful in that company and was able to provide additional income, but never enough that I was able to actually quit my job. Um, so about a year ago, um, Nicole Clark, my, my direct sponsor, was posting about these lashes and I saw them, but I wasn't ready to commit. And I think it was like her third post and I wasn't ready to quite commit, but I still reached out to her and I was really kind of put, you know, pushing back on the idea of joining another direct sale company, even though I still had that vision of, I want to stay home with my kids uh, because I was actually just recently um, had a, an, another daughter and she was about six months old and I had just gone back to work again. Um, and so I just was really resistant to joining Tori Bell in the beginning. And, but I saw all the success that Nicole was having and she had had no um, direct sale experience before. So I just was like, okay, and she, I, I'm going to just give it a try. You know, I'll just sign up. I'll just give it a try and we'll see where it goes. And I, again, I didn't post for like the first, I was like a week or two before I even did my first post, but I just was so resistant because I think I just didn't want to fail again. But once I opened 
open the doors and just let everything go. Um, I just saw all the success and, you know, for myself and I was watching all these other people in this business and I'm finally at a point where my husband and I are actually having that conversation of, can this replace at least some income, um, if not all income for you to be able to stay home. So, you know, you know, it hasn't been this overnight thing for me. It has taken time. It has taken hard work, but I'm finally at a point where I found a company, um, a tribe and a leader like Laura that I 100% believe in. And I'm just so, so excited for 2021 and what's to come. Yes. So I received, um, when Katie and I were talking this morning, I asked if she would be willing to share her experience. And she said, absolutely. Of course, I'm, I'd be, I would be honored to. And she was like, you know, it was so hard to wake up today and go to my real job. I'm so ready to start doing Tori Bell full time, you know, and I just validated that emotion and feeling. I said, 2021 will be your year that you will be able to have that the options and that choice to decide if you want to step away and, you know, continue pursuing building this business. Of course, we know that's what um, this opportunity can turn into. But I also 100% believe that you have to have belief that this is it, that this can be that opportunity for you and not a, I wish it would, but it, 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 that wish becomes an actual goal of, oh no, this is actually going to be the opportunity that allows me to take control back of my time, that allows me to come home and be the mom that I desire, raising my girls from home while still building a dynamic business with us opportunity. And um, I think that first starts with belief that this is actually the right place for you, Katie. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I, um, there is no doubt in my mind that this is going to provide that for you and your family. And, yeah. um, and you guys, I'm just going to thank you on behalf of the entire organization for all the graphics, all the looks, oh. all the, you know, instant, um, um, promos that she does for us. She creates those graphics for the team. She's phenomenal at it. And then she does the makeup tutorials and the different looks with the, the Tori Bell products. And she does such a phenomenal job. Laura and I literally just kind of stared at her all day, uh, but whenever on New Year's Day, because her eyes were just mesmerizing and we were just <laughs> like goo goo gaga over um over her look so because we were we both kept continuing to compliment her so thank you katie for what you bring to this organization we are so proud of you and um, look forward to many many celebrations um in 2021 with your journey so i yes. appreciate you yes thank you thank you yes so um, I'm going to share with you guys how um, Suhanna, you know, it's so funny because I, um, you know, Suhanna and I did a little FaceTime on New Year's Eve and um, we were saying Happy New Year's. We were so excited. Um, Aubrey was part of that little trio FaceTime and, um, you know, I love the relationships that are, are forged um, having never met before but all of a sudden you become besties right so you know there was, those were a couple of ladies that facetimed me and said happy new year and then the next morning i simply sent suhanna a message oh actually i think she sent me a message first and i was like so i i would love to um for you to get in your car and drive four hours and come hug my neck and she was just like haha and like she was like one lining me back, right? I was like, no, haha, -ha, I'm serious. So, um, you know, please, please come see me. And she was like, I felt like she was legit blowing me off. And I was like, I'm not even joking here. And um, then, I, you know, I kind of was giving her a hard time. And she called me and she was like, okay, listen. And I was like, listen, come up, um, Katie's coming and we can have dinner together. You can stay the night with us, uh, but I really wanna see you. And she was like, I'll call you back. So then um, it was about an hour later and I, my nose is running, excuse me. Um, it was about an hour later and I, I totally, you guys thought she blew me off just just gonna you know be honest i was like she's not coming and then she called me from her car and she's just like i'm on my way <laughs> and i was 
like, what? So, um, you know, and of course, and then I'm like, hey, Lori, is it okay if I go ahead and have another person come over? And um, can she spend the night? And she was like, sure, the more the merrier. And I was like, I hadn't even, um, I hadn't even asked permission, but I figured it was fine. So, <laughs> um, but uh, you know, here, Suhanna made a five hour trip to come see us and I'll kick it over to her to um, share her story. Oh my gosh, what an introduction. And it's all true. That's the crazy part. All but one thing, I will say, it's not a five hour trip, it's a six hour trip. Oh, my and, God. <laughs> and um, you know, I have to say before I say anything on behalf of me and my family, thank you so much for being a fearless and selfless leader that always puts her team and her tribe first because i have been part of organizations before and they were wonderful but there was never that sense of just complete um servant heart and the fact that I was able to receive a call like that on New Year's at midnight was enough. I mean, I was so elated and so honored and so grateful to receive a call from um, the caliber of women that you guys are. It was absolutely um, just a, a God moment for me, if I could say that. You know, it was something that for me, I've, um, you know, really just taken ownership of this is exactly where we are supposed to be and um i uh you know so i got the call so thank you tori thank you thank you thank you for always thinking of other people you know that really is true leadership right there and so for all of you ladies listening like we have such the most incredible leadership and it really truly shines um but i <laughs> I absolutely was just completely put back. There was no warning. There was no hint. There was no, I didn't know you were even in Seattle still. I thought you had come and gone, but um, yeah, there was no hint at all. So it was exciting to even receive the call on New Year's. But when we woke up the next day and I got the invitation, all I had to do was figure it out. And there's a training in this really, because, you know, in, in the times that there has been opportunity, um, you know, that saying you have to jump and then figure it out. You don't figure it out and then jump. You just jump and then you figure it out. And, you know, it was like, I just got in my car. It was like, throw some stuff in a bag and just get in the car and, you know, I'll figure it out. And um, I think that really, I think that's really, really important for every single woman on this call to understand, like, when you pass up opportunities, it can completely change the trajectory of your, um, of your entire plan here, you know, like, when opportunities present themselves, and I know we have to be responsible and we have to be, you know, thoughtful of those things, but when you have such, like, yeah, belief, exactly. Um, when you have such belief in something and know you're on the right path, when opportunities present themselves, you have to jump. You have to just get in your car and go. And had I not made all of these small you know, jumps to go to Galveston to believe that I can earn the Mexico trip and then work really hard for it and take every single product credit and convert them into points so that I could go on the trip. You know, we, when I joined, it was three months in and I just looked at it and I just decided it wasn't like, Oh, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know, you know, if I can do it, I just decided that I'm going to do it. And, you know, so the trip was absolutely incredible. Like, um, Katie said she was so down to earth. And I mean, if you guys haven't figured out Tori's down to earth yet, then you guys are not in the boat because Tori is legit one of the most down to earth humans that I've ever come across that, you know, for her to have as much success and then for her to recover and have as much success again. I mean, it's just humbling to even have to go through what she's gone through but 
it really is a special uh, relationship. If, like she said, if you ever get a chance to hug her neck, you make sure to do that because she is the best hugger. And when I got to Laura's, I was very nervous, but I knew Tori had my back. I knew I, was, I knew Tori, so I felt good about that. And then when we walked in there, it was just like, we're making dinner and we're having a glass of wine. And, you know, like Katie said, there really wasn't that much business conversation. Laura just genuinely wanted to know about us. She wanted to know about my family. She wanted to know about, you know, me. And, um, you know, we just had this very intimate, but very um, normal. It was almost uncomfortable how comfortable I was. I was like, I woke up the next day, you know, because I had to get in my car and drive to Seattle and I didn't have any plans for a hotel. I didn't know where I was going to stay. I was pretty sure the invitation kind of included like a sleepover, but I didn't know. But sure enough, as I get there, it's, oh, I'm, I get to stay the night and we're, I'm going to sleep in Laura's home with my, oh, by the way, my boys, when the minute they found out, they immediately got dressed and ready because they weren't going to miss out on this opportunity. They were not going to miss out on meeting the people that I talk about constantly and they hear about constantly. So my, so not only did I get to go, but my 12 year old and my eight year old both jumped in the van with me and was like, I'm not missing this for nothing. So they got to meet Laura and Bob and Tori and Jason and the kids and they had an incredible time. But I think really honestly, ladies, what I can say that's completely shifted for me is, you know, being part of this tribe, being part of this company, being part of this opportunity has already solidified, like, this is my home. This is right where I want to be. But like, I just got to meet mama. And I just got to meet my sister and I just got to really not just meet them, but really truly get to know them. And so I uh, am completely blown away at the way that our company functions at such a high level. I cannot believe the amount of success that this company has found. And then walking into that warehouse and seeing they, I got to go on a tour the next day and see the production and see the back. I got to see all the, un, the back workings of it. And all I could see was, <laughs> all I could see was just, I like to call it pie. You know, there's just a whole lot of pie out there for everybody to get. And I'm telling you ladies, the deliveries are coming in. The warehouse is stocked. The products are on the shelves and it, it has only just begun, really, truly. It really has only just begun for us. And, um, oh, shoot, did I lose it? Oh, I lost you there for a second. Um, yeah, so anyway, so I absolutely am just grateful for the opportunity and, you know, just really encourage each and every woman to, um, have bigger belief, double your belief, and then double it again. And just keep moving forward. And if ever you get that kind of opportunity, you, you turn the hash browns off and you put on your lashes. <laughs> Thank you so much. Was there anything I left out, Tori? Anything that you wanted to hear like specifically? I just really wanted to say thank you more than anything. But if I left anything out specifically, oh, if anybody wants to come and hear me sing the national anthem, I also got invited to do that at conference. Like what? Come on. <laughs> yeah, that's just a small detail. And so I'm that's, so excited. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about is, you know, I think it just really solidified just like, oh, I'm not going anywhere. Like this, it, you're, I love your description of I got to meet mama, you know? Yeah. And, and although we've talked to, you know, you, we had um, the privilege of having Laura surprise the, the group of leaders that went to Galveston. And so this wasn't her first time. She's also met her in Cancun. So it wasn't the first time that she's met Laura, but it's the first time that she's actually really been able to have intimate time with mama, you know? Mm -hmm. And, um, and it's, I just know that you just kept saying, I'm home. I'm so <laughs> home. And that is a great feeling to have, ladies. Um, I will tell you this, you know, when Suhanna, I 
thank you for that training as sometimes you just have to jump and then figure it out, right? So that's kind of how um, we ended up going to Seattle. Um, you know, Tori and Tatum had developed this sweet, sweet friendship um, and they've talked on the phone, they've gone, they've gone, um, they've had Zooms together. And, and that happened because when I met Tori, when the senior execs um, flew up to Seattle and had um, some time with um, Laura and then met her daughter Tori, um, I got, I was talking to Tori, of course, because she is Tatum's age and she was sharing with me some of her passions and what she loves. And I was like, oh my goodness, like you and Tatum would get along so well. Right. So, um, she's like, well, I would love to zoom with her. I mean, her, her children are so amazing. Um, I, I love that we get to see something beyond Laura herself because the apple doesn't fall far from the tree when I'm saying how sweet they are, how loving, how accepting. I mean, both of her daughters were incredible. That was the first time that I got to meet Belle. Um, so she was amazing. She watched the kids a couple of times and was just so sweet and so mature. And then Tori and Tatum. So what happened was the night of the first night of the mermaid release where Tori released her collection. Um, Tatum watched it with me and she was so excited to see her little friend, um, you know, have success and actually you know her little entrepreneurship because because tori herself really did pick out the collection and um helped create the mermaid so she did the whole design um process and the collection and there's more to come with tori's collection but um tatum sent the sweetest message of the, the, the voice clip to tori congratulating her on her launch and then tate uh Laura messaged back and she was so, um, you know, grateful that, um, you know, Tatum was celebrating Tori's success. And she was just like, I really cannot wait for Tatum to come up here and do a live with Tori. And um, I was like, oh my gosh, she would, she would be honored. She would love that. And she was just like, and how's about New Year's? <laughs> and I was, you know, and I'm just like, so what I'm telling you, that was completely unexpected. But sometimes, I mean, like, do you ever think that spending um, New Year's Eve in Seattle at Laura's house was ever on my radar, right? But when when opportunity knocks, I, I couldn't second guess. I mean, I was not going to pass up that. So I was like, sure we're going to seattle for new year's and um and it was so fun and i will tell you that so my experience is, is i echo exactly what suhanna and katie have shared um i have had an opportunity to spend a little um other time with with laura and so um you know i've I told you whenever I surprised you guys and had Laura share her story that I fell in love with Laura and her strength and her vision and her perseverance. I mean, I can identify with uh, you get knocked down seven times, but you get up eight, right? And so just the fight that she has, I can identify with. And so I knew that she was a woman that I wanted to follow. Um, and and just the more time that I spend with her. So we did talk shop a little bit more than just, um, and they're right, you know, Laura wanted to get to know them. Laura was invested in, you know, who they were, what their family was like, you know, just, just their journey with Tori Bell. It wasn't, you know, all about me. It was not about self at all. Um, she is the most selfless person. They were the most gracious host. I'll tell you, um, you know, so if anybody's from the South, I don't know if this is a South tradition or if this is just a, a, a Texas tradition, I don't know, but it is tradition for 44 years of my life to eat black eyed peas, cabbage, cornbread, and ham for New Year's Day, right? That is, it is a non-negotiable. I mean, I even have my family members, my siblings saying, please make sure that you eat the black eyed peas because it represents um, prosperity, wealth, good health. Um, it's just a, a, a good year, welcoming in a good year, right? 
So I asked Bob and Laura if that's what we were going to be eating, and they were clueless to the tradition, but because it meant something to me, Bob's like, I'm going to the store, and that's what we're having for dinner. So they, um, you know, scurried off to the store and, and bought dinner. As a matter of fact, when I um, said Bob had gone to dinner or the store earlier that day, and that in the morning time before we went out and spent the day with Katie, um, as we're out, I'm like, um, I have another team member coming <laughs> and she's bringing her boys. And Bob was like, oh, okay, great. Well, then I'm just going to have to go to the store and get more food for all of us. You know, so he had to go a second time and get more um, to prepare dinner, which was so um, sweet. But um, so their generosity is never ending. Um, the way they welcomed us was um, so incredible. And then, of course, Tori and um, you want to say hi? Tori and Tatum had an amazing time. As a matter of fact, Tatum sat there and she came to me and she goes, Tori is my soul sister. And she was so serious, um, but they had the sweetest connection and relationship. Did you love it? Yes. Yes. Um, so thank you so much for being so sweet. And you did, everybody said what a great, didn't we all say what a great job she did on the live. Okay, Mermaid Tatum, you want to say thank you? Thank you. All right, we're, we're making slime. <laughs> okay, go. Um, but um, so I did get to hear a little bit from a business side um, from Laura and how excited she is for conference. We talked about conference planning a little bit and then really the vision of the company. The, of course, I didn't get any inside scoop of um, what new inventions are coming and you know innovations. I do know that there uh, I do know the name of the lash that is being launched. Um, this. Thursday, and I am so excited. I did not get to see a picture, but I, um, it is, um, it is, well, I'm not going to spoil it. It's not up to me to be able to spoil any of the details, but it's supposed to be super beautiful and um, help women prepare for a season of their life. That's all that I will say, but I do know the name of the lash and it's super cute. Um, so make sure that you are ready for Thursday launch. Um, and I did not get to see the color of the lippy, but um, I get I, that she did tell me the name of the lippy. And this is, I'm just, I'm just teasing you guys right now because I'm not going to give it away. I'm just so teasing you. Um, but in addition to that, you know, she talked about the new, com the new countries that we are going to be launching in. Um, she thinks within the next six months. So that is super exciting. And she's just like, let me tell you, Tori, you know, and I knew, I, I mean, I know that I know that I know I'm not going anywhere. I love this company. I love, um, you know, that they are continually listening to the field. They are continually, if they feel like something, you know, they are, there's things that need to be corrected. They are correcting it, you know, and they, they are humble enough to say, Hey, we messed up. You know, Bob said, Hey, we, we kind of missed the mark on a product launch. And I know that we have to recover from that, but we are doing anything and everything we can to, to recover and move forward. And they've done a very good job at doing so. And that was because the, the field brought that concern to them and they heard us. So knowing that I was able to spend time with our CEOs and they were listening to my concerns they, and they had genuine um, compassion for, you know, just topics that I brought and they weren't, they didn't blow me off. They listened to what I had to say and they were truly interested in making it better for their company, for you guys. So to know that you have CEOs that have your back is so very important to, um, to me. And I, I love, you know, to share that with you, but to also know that, um, where the company is headed. She's like, oh, just wait. And like, I can trust her when she says that because I knew what her vision of magnetic lashes were going to be in the field, what, how that was going to change everything in the beauty industry. And we can all agree that it has when she's just like, just wait till the next invention rolls out. And she's like, you, you won't be able to think about what it is because nobody's ever done it before. Right. And so I, I'm like, what could it be? What could it be? She's like, that's the deal with it. That, that's the whole um, deal with an invention is that nobody has thought about it before. 
And that just makes me so giddy, right? I'm like, hallelujah. Like I am fired up for where we're headed. So um, a couple of just, um, you know, quick reminders. The launch is Thursday. In addition to having a product launch, we are doing a one week launch for um, a, an opportunity special. It's going to be $85 for um, the U.S. enrollment. And that comes with, <coughs> woo, <coughs> woo dry throat hold on um lashes liner shake it off and an applicator <coughs> want to fill it up for me yeah. and then um the canadian enrollment <coughs> goodness i think it's 115 or 112 somebody can correct me if i'm wrong um but ladies here's i, I went back and you know this has been an organization for 13 months right and I talk about how grateful it, that we are, that this has absolutely changed Heather and I's life. And, and, and we were just the ones that said yes first and shared the gift with you. And it has been so incredible what has happened. But having um, reached over 3,000 affiliates, there's over 3,000 team members within our collective organization. And I, I don't have the exact number, but I know it's over 3,000. And knowing um, what happened last January, that only happened when the team rallied and collaborated together and ran with a same vision. You know, our vision was to go from 100 team members to 1,000 team members the month of January, and we accomplished that goal. And, you know, I think that we need to set a similar goal of, okay, how many more women, you know, I, I, if everybody were in the game, I could, I could 100% say, we could double that. We could go from 3,000 to 6,000 within one month time span. Um, you know, but I know that not everybody's in the game. So I'm just thinking, okay, you know what? Let's do the same thing that we did last January and have a goal of 1,000 women um, we want to bring on a thousand women in the month of January that need what all of us have, you know, welcomed and embraced and the impact, you know, I see, I talked to you guys last week about start sharing opportunity, start sharing what this has been done for you, not only on your personal walls, but making sure that you're having personal conversations. And I see you guys responding. I see your stories being launched, um, that you guys are dripping, right? You are doing an excellent job of dripping what this journey has been like for you. And you need to be prepared and ready to run when, Jan when um, January, let's see, it's the 7th, I believe, is on Thursday. When January 7th happens and that promotion launches, don't wait till the last day to try to bring new women into your organization or new affiliates into your organization. You need to be ready to run and make an impact all seven days. It is a seven day long, um, you know, intentional effort that you need to be um, personally having conversations and bringing new people in sharing what this has um, been for you and more importantly not only what this has been for you but where you're headed what are you expecting 2021 to be like for you and how are you going to get there and invite people to come alongside your journey you know i spoke vision from the very get-go heather and i knew that we knew that we knew that this was going to be the answer that we were needing and praying and searching for and we just spoke that so powerfully with such belief um, and, and we never wavered with what we shared. So I know that we are speaking with, with that same strength as we um, you know, welcome in a new year. And um, I just hope that you're ready you know, because the people who have their boats in the water, the tide is rising. You know, if you've parked, if, if you feel like you're shipwrecked and you just, you're, you've abandoned ship, I don't know what to tell you, but maybe get back in the ship or find a, find your lifeboat and get back in the game um, to rise with the tide that's coming because only the people who have that mindset are going to be moving forward together. Um, not sitting on the sidelines, um, you know, hoping for a solution, but actually taking action on what's to come because it takes action to get to where you're going. It can't happen with without belief and without action. 
So Heather, we, I, we haven't heard from you, but I, I, I want to hear your voice because we've missed you. The tribe has missed you. So I know that we didn't talk, but I know that your voice is, is so welcomed and, and, you know, we want to, Happy New Year, Heather. <laughs> Happy New Year. Hello. <laughs> I'm, I'm so, um, I've got, I've got the, like, the headache going on because it's day one, right? And so all, all the things have to happen on the day one. The detox has started. Oh, yes, and it's real. Um, oh, I'm so sorry. I can't hear my movie. Hi, everybody. I know I've missed everybody so much. Um, so it's so good to be back. I've been in the boonies. My, my, I have boys, as most of you know. And they love to go to a deer lease in the middle of nowhere with no reception and um, no Wi-Fi. And so, and it's just like in the middle of nowhere. So I'm sure you guys saw some of those pictures, but it's wonderful. You just completely unplug. And so I'm recovering from that. It's like a deer lease hangover <laughs> is literally what it is because it's just all boy, dirt, all the things. But and then I wear lashes, and that brings out the girly miss me. But yes, Happy New Year, everybody. I love seeing all of your faces. So excited for um, the new promotion that is coming up. And I think that's an incredible, um, incredible thing to have that mission for, um, again, a thousand women strong, right? So what did we call it last year? We called it Everybody Needs Somebody. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I don't, it wasn't so. on the launch. I'm going to, I'll go back and I'll look, but you know, I, I just think, I think it was maybe a thousand women strong, um, <clears throat> was that first campaign. And then, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the second the next one was one, that. Everybody yeah. Needs somebody. But, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I think all of us just collaborating with uh, having a single mindedness with this, with this organization is what makes it so powerful you know all of us marching forward together and i know that all of us are on the same page but i think we all need to get focused you know have a forward focus of what's to come and who else can we bring alongside us no lady left behind somebody no just wrote that behind. that's what that it was, was yeah that was yeah the that I and a thousand and it was a thousand women strong like yes. hashtag hashtag yeah you're right you're right so, yes yes um yeah, so I think that's amazing. Um, we we're off to a little bit of a late start because again, I didn't have Wi-Fi in the um, November or in the January consistency group. So if you're not in there, hop on over. We're going to kick it off tomorrow. Um, so basically, for those of you who are brand new and don't know what that is, it's kind of like after your first four posts, what to do. Um, it's literally every single day what to do. It doesn't change at whatever level you're at. Um, it's really making sure to focus on the fundamentals. And so um, us as leaders are coming together afterwards to just kind of ch chat about that and some things to bring to you guys. So there's a combination of me not having Wi-Fi, but then also um, collaboration of, um, of the leaders. So we're going to go ahead and, and talk about that and kick that off tomorrow. So that'll be really exciting for January. So if you're not in that, the link will be posted in the top of the magnetic appeal um, announcements. And so you can click on that and hop on in there and we'll have training and daily, daily action steps. So. Perfect. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so I just wanted to hear your voice because I haven't heard, the, the, the tribe hasn't heard your voice um, on a Zoom in a while. So I, I'm just grateful you're home and, and we are ready just to crush this thing together. Somebody asked if they could see my lashes. So I got to thank, give a shout out to Aubrey for the idea. I'm wearing pink mink with sparkle lashes stacked. Um, they're so gorgeous. I was wearing, I had pink in my shirt today. So I was like, oh, time to bust out the pink mink feeling a little diva-ish. Um, so ladies, I'm gonna, we're gonna wrap it up. It's, oh, let me do, I, I didn't get to do the drawings beforehand because it takes me quite a bit of time, but I have not forgot. I will go live and share the winners of the um, bills for my bills incentive. So I'm excited to um, give away $500 to um, three lucky winners. And then I will also be posting the glam um pink mink no no sparkle and um ignite 
giveaway for all the orders that were submitted. So I will have all of that um, finalized and announced tomorrow. So no stress there. And then, um, and somebody said you, they thought that the promotion started on Wednesday. Heather, was, did I miss, miss speak about that? I thought, I thought it was Thursday on Laura's live, but can you correct me? Too. Okay. Well, I thought it was that too. That's okay. what all the flyers say. Okay. That's Ooh. what I thought. So I think it's Thursday whenever, um, Laura does her live. Yeah. The seventh is so Monday, Tuesday. Yeah. It's Thursday. I got to mm -hmm. do my elementary math here. <laughs> Okay, ladies. Well, are the, do we have any other questions? Any comments? You can unmute yourself if you have anything that you want to share. Otherwise, we're going to be wrapping up and collaborating with the leaders after this. Any questions, comments, concerns other than just Happy New Year? And I'm excited. Oh, Nicole, I see your sweet puppy. Oh my gosh. I love uh, it. Tori, one thing I was going to say, and somebody feel free to interrupt if you have a question. Um, but one thing I was going to say is with the opportunity zoom, that is truly what I would be doing is reaching out to anybody. Hold on, buddy. Anybody that is um, interested or has been on the fence or has asked you about the opportunity. Um, so really be making a list like from now until tomorrow of all of those people. Um, Cause that's a, a way for them to hear more, see more and stories make an impact. Hold on, bud. And then, um, and then anybody that is new too. So any of your affiliates maybe that have, you know, whatever, reach out to them too, because we cannot rely on Facebook and chat to get the message out. So personal invitation is so key. Um, so I would definitely be from now until the opportunity Zoom on Wednesday, really be personally inviting um, those and and making it personal to that person. So if you know their purpose, letting them know, like this could totally be something to help you get to X, Y, Z, whatever they, you know, voice to you of what they want out of this opportunity. Yes, so. thank, thank you for that reminder. I didn't actually announce that. There is an opportunity Zoom that we are doing um, for senior execs are collaborating for this week's opportunity Zoom. Um, I have the privilege and honor to be able to share on that this week. And that is for you guys to bring prospects or your new affiliates to listen um, in on Wednesday night. And then the promotion actually launches on Thursday. So thank you for that reminder because I, I actually had not um, remembered to do that. Awesome. Yay, join from Florida. Whoever said that. Welcome. I don't know if this is your first tribe talk. What time Wednesday? I believe I, it'll be posted, you guys. Um, I don't want to, you know what, I have it right here. I think it is eight o'clock if I remember on um, my time. I'll let you know right now. Okay. I have some, but oh, listen, 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 Linda. Okay. I already have team members who were kind of MIA that I'm just getting a message saying, Okay, I want to sell again. Okay, follow up with your former affiliates. Okay, so the Zoom is at eight o'clock Central Time. Thank you, nine o'clock Eastern. Thank you, Teresa. But listen, the people that already quit, maybe flew the coop, they're not lost cause, okay? You, you have to know that you know that you know where you're headed. And it's kind of like one of those accountability things, like, Maybe I quit too soon because I just, I didn't follow the system. I wasn't willing to plug in. I, I, I just, I didn't duplicate what was being taught, right? It's one of those accountabilities of like, okay, I'm ready to take ownership of that. And I want to re-engage. Kind of like the accountability group that most of us are a part of, the Transformation 21, where all of us are taking ownership. Okay, where I'm taking ownership of how much weight I've gained over the past year. And I'm like, okay, it was nobody else's fault but my own, right? I have to take ownership of that and I've got to do something about it. The same way maybe you have team members that quit too soon, and but you have stayed the course because that's what you do, right? You lead the way and they're still watching you reach back out to those people, okay? Because this opportunity is not going anywhere. 
all right? And they're gonna miss the boat and they're gonna regret having thrown in the towel way too soon. So that's a great reminder. I'm so excited, yay! I got lots of work to do. Certain time they have to wait if they've been compressed. Um, if they, remember, they go to an affiliate shopper relationship. Um, I had another team member um, recently just re, uh, re and, uh, upgrade her account, right? Reestablish her affiliate ship for the $25 because they get to do that. They just, if they had a team, they don't get their team back. But they can, they don't even have to do the $85 enrollment, you guys. If you have affiliates that compressed out, became an affiliate shopper, they can upgrade their account, pay $25. They can choose who they want to be as their mentor. So I would, I would encourage you to touch them, okay? To reach out to those people and, and talk about what's coming up, what the new, you know, just the expectancy of what 2021 is gonna be. And if they're ready to re-engage, maybe timing is better for them. So don't leave those people off of your list, okay? Because they're great. Uh, it, it would be a great time to circle back around, okay? Awesome. Thank you so much for that reminder. And then we'll keep their career rank. Okay, ladies, let's crush it. Welcome 2021. We're going to freaking do this thing. No lady left behind. A thousand women strong starts now because you've got to start planting those seeds now for us to be able to reach that goal together. All right, God bless you guys. I love you. Thank you for joining us. Bye.